Hello there, today I wanted to talk about GA4 and the current state of where it's at. Let's check it out. So GA4 was a analytics protocol that was introduced um, maybe 2019 uh, is when they, they were talking about it and they've obviously, Google has been working on it for a while. Um, Universal Analytics is the primary analytics that we all know and love and we've been using it for quite some time. Um, it basically kind of looks like this. Um, so when you look at analytics, um, you'll see all these familiar items and it's a UA tag is what it's called. So it's basically a, a, a specific tag on your site. This is how the tags look. Um, and UA would be in front of it for Universal Analytics, which we can actually see on the page itself if we just go to uh, look at the code. And then you can actually check the, the Universal Analytics side. That's um, what it looks like on the actual tag. So there's a UA. Uh, tag manager is how this is implemented, but it has the analytics code, for example, there. So what's going on with Google Analytics 4 is that um, about maybe two months ago, um, Google stated that they are moving everything to what's called GA4. And you'll see that if you go to analytics, you look at the top of your screen, you'll see Universal Analytics will no longer process new data in standard properties beginning July 1st of, of 2023. So that means you have until next year to um, really get everything into gear. Uh, now it's highly recommended that you start using GA4 now and just, I mean really now you should, you should be using GA4. Um, Universal Analytics GA4 is different. It's different in nature. I did a previous video which you can check out um, about cookies and about analytics and that sort of thing that kind of talks about what this is. But this is an update on GA4, where it is now, where it's going. Um, so a few months ago, I sent out uh, notices to my clients saying we're going to switch everything to GA4, which we have been. Um, and I've kind of noticed some pain points along the way. When we're doing things with GA4, uh, there are some issues, certainly. So GA4 is is difficult in that many third-party websites uh, like Wix and Weebly, uh, Squarespace just added it. Um, Weebly has information about adding it, but it's a little iffy. Um, there is... Uh, nominal support basically across these different platforms and i and they will be upping this in the future um but right now it's still a little bit green in terms of how it's implemented and how it's uh able to be tracked in these different systems now it looks like luckily there are a few that have changed gears and you're able to add it squarespace like i said you can add it uh, looks like weebly just kind of made this uh option too how, or Wix, I'm sorry, but I but I was doing a client site with Weebly and there was an issue where um, if you're adding the code to Weebly, uh, it can't track e-commerce. So at this moment, uh, you're unable to tra fully track e-commerce um, through certain websites, web systems. Uh, you can track e-commerce, but it takes a lot more work. It's not as easy... Um, I say easy with a grain of salt because universal analytics is still difficult to track it, but it's not as easy as universal analytics was or is. Um, so this whole system is still in flux at the moment. And my advice really is to do what you can with universal analytics, try to use it, try to make it work, um, and then do implementations or uh, feeds from this system to uh, to GA4, which you can do uh, connected property, and it'll actually tie in those. And they they Google has built this in so that it works that way um, because there's a lot of holes <laughs> at the moment. 
I would say with GA4 in some ways. Now GA4 is an interesting way to track things. It does have a lot of cool stuff in the future that can that can do um, very interesting things moving forward. But it does have limitations, so I would just be aware of that. Um, this is again connecting. So the big issue is, you know, a lot of these third-party systems just don't integrate it with it yet. So you're gonna have to wait probably until when will this be ready? So Google Analytics 4 and all the tracking stuff properly working will probably be my guess would be like November or end of year for a lot of these systems so that in to 2023 I would suspect that a lot of these companies would just they have to they have to start using GA4 if they're not doing it now they need to get on it um, I know that Google kind of quickly announced this that they were moving to GA4 officially um, and so time flies it goes quick and so by the end of the year I will have another update on GA4 and the current status of things but as of right now I would do what you can in GA4 try and do some conversion tracking within GA4 but focus primarily still on universal analytics um, and uh, then as soon as it's ready move to GA4 because you want that those data points as soon as possible um, again, you have some tie-ins from Universal Analytics, but that's going to be gone next year. So we're kind of in a weird limbo state now with tracking and how things are how things are tracked, the properties we can use from GA4 to Universal Analytics. So it's it's an interesting time for sure. Um, and by interesting, I mean stressful for marketers because GA4 is uh, not. Google is basically forcing third parties to accept GA4 now by putting a, a hard date saying, look, July 2023, we're not supporting Universal Analytics. So deal with it, make it work, do what you got to do. And other companies will have to do that too. Small business owners, um, make sure that you have GA4 set up. We set up all our, our accounts with GA4 as well. So that has been tying into it. Um, but we do still need to work on a lot of conversion tracking because some, for some sites, it's just not ready yet. Uh, E-commerce sites and others, the full tie-ins just aren't available yet. Um, so something to note and kind of what's top of our minds at the moment. Uh, tracking is a big um, conversation with us here at Cal Abundant and something we f uh, think is very important to our customers to track uh, customers, to track, you know, in a safe, anonymous way, of course, um, upholding standards of even GDPR and others too. But the idea is that uh, tracking is important to know where your dollars are going, what you're spending on, how well they're working for you. So that's where it is. Uh, thanks everyone for watching. I hope that this was informative, interesting. Hit that like button. It really helps the channel, uh, helps us grow. And looking forward to the next one. We'll keep you updated on GA4. Thanks, everyone. Bye.